In this series, lowimpact.org talks with people working to build a mutually owned, democratic, decentralised economy that builds community and doesn't destroy nature. We want to increase collaboration to bring about system change. Find links to the sites mentioned in the videos in the description below. Join the conversation by liking, commenting and subscribing to our channel. So now in the 21st century, what's, what's the problem you're trying to solve? What's, what's your motivation for doing this? Oh, I don't see uh, any justification for um, financial poverty, monetary poverty. I think the concept of poverty as a monetary instrument is obscene. Uh, patronizing, it's paternalistic, it's a power structure, zero-sum commodity, top-down game. It's the way the world has been financially governed as a fear-driven colonialism since probably the 13, 1400s. Mm. You know, because progressively as coinage and top-down, the tally sticks, uh, the king, the tax, you know, it became like this is a weaponized transactional system that is designed to extract mm -hmm. and yeah. whereas yeah. The, the, the common community had its own energy and vitality that the sort of things that David Graeber talks about the origin of what's going on because it was an annualized cycle of give get product uh, harvest life death yeah. birth. So it was all happening, and then when the tally sticks or the coinage comes in, it's to get, to control, and to leave. And so you break up this in favor of that. And we've been there for, well, four or five hundred years, aggravated by um, Isaac Newton, who created the coin that actually made the London banking system work, mm -hmm. which made it the dominant banking system, which created the British Navy, the British Merchant Navy, the Indian Empire, the colonies, the whole damn thing came from Newton's coinage, really. Yeah. Um, and now we've got derivatives gone mad, I tell you, they've gone mad. And nobody knows what the hell is going on, but it's coming down at some point. Mm -hmm. Currently, it's the breakdown with yeah. the COVID issues and the impending problems in this area. There needs to be cooperation at a local level. There needs to be cooperation. Yeah. Now, I don't, and I don't just mean in my township or my neighborhood. It, it needs to be cooperation at a level of why do we shaft each other? Why are we going around getting into contentious activity levels in our physical localities? For Christ's sake, guys, if we can't get on with each other, this ship is going down. Mm -hmm. We are all in the same damn canoe. Let's be clear about it. So stabbing each other in the back is not a profitable way of getting the thing to move forward. So networking inside the neighborhood, the region, the community, any network that it makes sense to be compatible with each other and stop knifing each other for the money. This is the biggest problem is in, in conventional money, both of us, even in the best of good intentions, I want to do something with you, you want to do something with me, I'm, spending in your store. We're both being generous as we can be. We're both afraid. I'm afraid I'm spending too much. You're afraid I'm not spending enough. You're afraid your business going down. We're both afraid and we're both fighting about who's going to get the money out of this. So we are transferring yeah. between us. Yeah, zero so, so the exchange medium doesn't have to be scarce, does it? It doesn't have to be scarce. So before we, before we go into the details of, of, of what it is and how it works, Let's just try this. How how does what you're suggesting with open money, how does it solve this problem of poverty and extraction and wealth concentration? Well, as freedom, if one can say no, the compulsion of conventional money is scarcity and command. If you don't do it, man, I got somebody just around the corner who will take, take the job. Do you want money or don't you? Take it or leave it. Just business. You know, that's the game, right? And money calls. You can tell if you look down the chain. The, the babysitter doesn't get the same as the orthodontist, right? Why not? Well, because it's scarce, baby, and there's a competition for it. 
And the orthodontist is more weaponry than the babysitter. So, you know, the, the, the scaling of the earnings. Because of the scarcity of the, um, of the skill. I'm right, man. Without scarcity, how would you make it work? If you're not going to be able to beat people with a carrot, it's not really a stick, is it? So, yeah, you've got to have gradient. Gradient competition fight. If you don't have a fight, what's the money good for? Well, the money's good. Look at the fight it creates. That's what we've got. But you can still do that, couldn't you? In any in in any exchange system, you, if whatever the units are, you could not for long, not for long. It's called entropy. Do not shit in your own backyard. It will build up on you. And the the, so what's, the, what's the incentive for people to sort of um, it study, works study study for years with no money no. and 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 to, no. to get skills and <laughs> well. Autonomy, mastery, and purpose are the, 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 the three flags I've recently seen. Daniel Pink, I can't imagine I hadn't seen his stuff until the other day. Daniel Pink, autonomy, mastery, and purpose. Daniel That's what drives people. That's what makes things go. Now, you've got to enable those to take form and shape and function. And that includes a business plan. If you don't have a business plan, don't plan on any business, please. Don't go there. So business plans count. And the business plan in the complementary currency is, oh my God, we're helpless and poor, give us a grant. Mm -hmm. And there's, there's a determination to prove how helpless and poor they are, very substantially. <clears throat> so open money, is, obviously with open money, you're talking about that we can just issue our own money. We don't need to use the bank's money. We can issue our own We money. are our own money in the same way that we are free speech. Are we free speech here? Who says we're free speech? Does somebody say we have free speech or do we have free speech because we say free speech? Yeah, if, we, if we're allowed speech, it's sort of... It's, <laughs> if we're allowed, very limited. it ain't free, right? It ain't free <laughs> if we're allowed it. So same thing here, exactly the same context. Of course we can have our money. We are our money. Be your own money. What you do and how it is seen by the society that is your space, your, your, your environment, your, your counterpart. What goes up when you go down? Because in your little bounce, the, the, the vortex is circulating and everybody's buzzing up and down. They're buzzing, they're, they think they're in the center buzzing up and down. You think you're in the center, I'm in the center buzzing up. We're all in the center buzzing up and down. We're in this hum of activity. So, and so, mind our own business is the, the answer, and we are the reciprocal of what it is. So, so nuts, nuts and bolts. Somebody is <laughs> persuaded. Somebody is persuaded. Yes, you're talking sense. That makes a lot of sense. What do I do? How does it work? How does it work? Well, first of all, you, you get a name in your locality. The first thing is to be, this is so much about reputation and locality and presence because you are known to be who you are. Where are you known to be who you are? Well, first of all, geographically, um, maybe a job function, if you're a member of the local council, or you work for the gas board or something, or your agent retailer across this zone. So we have localities, maybe a, a region of London, maybe a borough of London, maybe a street in London. So the first thing will be, the, there'll be registries of, this is me here, and that's my sort of anchor identity, ding dong. Now from that identity, um, which is not unique, and, is, and you can have several if you like, but basically one's enough, right? From one, you can be party to any currencies that are transacting in your area that seem relevant to you. Where do those currencies come from? How do they, how do they get started? They get started by somebody saying, how about um, the Tooting South? Yeah, um, so tuning set, but well, all right, yeah, yeah, we got the we got the, sh the main street here. We got you know, there's a couple of businesses, and then there's the old people's home, and and you know, then there's the, uh, you know, so of course there'll have to be a tooting common, won't there? God damn, I'll have to be a tooting common. Well, it's very, it's very coincidentally, I live in Tooting South, so yeah. I would be a member of the Tooting South currency. Yeah. Um, in so, you, well, again, I guess it's the same as your previous thoughts on less, no, no credit limits or no sort of uh, governance. Or... 
Not generally. There will be some that do start within a box in a shape and a limit of this is for, uh, for instance, and for instance, a church. A church will have, you've got to be in our church to be using the church money. Okay? Right? Now, you don't say how much you're in, you know, but it's sort of, there'll be, be a membership form there. The Chamber of Commerce would say, unless you've got a business license in, you know, this borough, or our catchment area, then join another one or, you know, get a business license. But, you know, to be in the Chamber of Commerce Network, you've got to have a business license. So you're going to have a dot .coc name. Right. So this idea, this upper money idea is not about groups or clubs or anything like that. It's about currencies and you can use that currency wherever you are. You can, you can decide to use any, any currency you want. Okay. It's a, it's a white palette. It's like a multicolor color palette. What color do you want to do here? Where, you know, like the, there's no limitation. Now there'll be predominance. Um, you know, there'll be three or four main streets sort of tooting currencies, I would think. Right. So say, say if I was a shopkeeper in, in tooting and I, u I, was a mem I used this uh, tooting currency and somebody came into my shop who lived in Brixton and they're not a member of the, they don't use, they don't use the tooting currency. They use a Brixton currency. How do, how do the, how does that person then spend in my shop? Well, that, that'd be South and Southwest currency would be also part of what the local merchants taking, you know, right, so you'd have a greater London currency or a South London currency or a, yeah, or, or a Greek currency or like, you know, like the, the point is that a merchant who doesn't very much say, sure, I'll take that, that, Thank you for being my customer. Pleased to see you today. I hope we see you next week. By the way, there's some guys down the street that'd love to see you as well. Hey. You know, won't, it become, won't it become confusing for people with so many currencies? How will they no. not how will they how will they get on top of it? How will they understand? They don't have to get on top of it. That's the main point. Is it's not a burden. It's just it happens and it just seems like the pro it's harder to spend than to earn. You see, the, it's, the, the task is get move this stuff, spend it. But there will be ways. Don't worry about that. It's just that our anxiety about money is, oh, my God, it's getting away from me. Where did it go? Where is it coming from? Will I have enough? And therefore, several currencies, I've got to have that game going in several places. No, exactly the opposite. The, the, in, the community currencies, the common currencies, the personal currencies, the, our money is just... It's like, oh, surrounded by nice bouncy balloons, comfortably cushioned and floating. I don't have to manage this thing. It helps me manage my, my, myself in the world. It helps me be myself in the world. Who's managing what? So if you're, if you're buying something in a shop, you want it to be as fast and easy as giving the shopkeeper some cash or tapping a card. So yes. what, what will this entail? Well, it'll be some form of identification, which um, might be a, a QR code, right. um, you know, a standard flash and go. Um, that's the most likely. But obviously, there'll be a wallet. You know, I can sit here and say, well, how many of those would you like, my good man, or something, you know? And, and we can punch it through and it'll pop on his uh, console, his desktop, his phone, his whatever, uh, right there. Um, so, even if there aren't direct point of sale processes, which a QR code can become very easily, you know, um, the store has its QR on the cash register, and you know, when the number comes up, you just flash your, yeah. your QR. Okay, so it's, so it's, it, it'll be it's it's all it's all gonna happen, and don't worry about it. it it'll be easy. Yeah, much easier. If you don't, yeah. <laughs> I know that you've got two associated ideas for building community uh, called Community Way and Covestment. And I find those very interesting because mm. one is a way of helping start new local businesses and the other is to help local good causes, both of which are fantastic. Um, can you say a bit more about that? Well, the, 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 the primary engine, if you like, is, is like you put fuel or juice or well, sorry, the, the engine produces action. It doesn't necessarily be connected to anything, right? So it could be on a desktop, a lab, a kitchen counter, doing woo, woo, woo. When you want this concept to become substantial, you've got to look into, well, how does it actually connect to ground on the street, in the world, 
become embedded, becomes viable. It needs to do its own landing, like the Mars lander or the moon lander or something. We are on the ground, you know, we have traction. So uh, I call the second stage transmission, as you're getting the power from the engine to the wheel. The transmission is how does one connect with the other so that there's motion and action. And the main, the main thing is sustainable, uh, a business model that, that says the uh, South London Open Money Development Collective um, has realizable expectations of revenue. So the people in South London who are working on open money development, propagation, education, distribution, induction, whatever, uh, see a budget. If they see a budget, that's a good thing. If they don't see a budget, it's not a good thing. So there's got to be a budget. Now, co-vestment, also known as community way historically, and increasingly becoming identified as crowd changing, crowd changing is the process where you capture conventional money, which would normally just be going through the retail and out. Boom, one time. Now you saw it, now it's gone. One time, yeah. Um, petrol, groceries, shoes, <laughs> whatever you're buying, it's gone, right? The cash is out of town. Well, what we're doing here is we're saying, look, here's a way we can use that option to have that cash not go out of town but actually go directed to something nice and goody in in the community and a, a, a permanent substantial thing we want a roof on the church we want um, an mri in the hospital we want the river cleaned up we want whatever you know and why do we know we want it well because six businesses over here said they want it and they put they put dollars or pounds on it, you know, community pounds, not cash. But this project has got 50,000 community dollars or pounds in it, which are supported by these five, 10 businesses here. And if you as a customer are able to come through the change here and spend cash with this, put cash into the good project, whatever it is, and there's a choice, big yours, bing, bing, bing. Oh, that is four hundred dollars. Click, you get four hundred community dollars in your account. So you didn't spend money; you change money. You change. You're part of the crowd. You're changing. You're changing the money from the normal cash to the cash goes to the good guys. Good money comes to me, and that brings me into a loyalty loop with the good businesses of this town. So that's the basic engine of. So you're bringing, uh, you're bringing resources from the cash economy into the new economy. It's, it's captured by engagement. It's, it's how does a business become part of this loop? It, it must do it by service. You can't have a business which is a mindless, moralless, gutless piece of legislative accounting. That's what a business is. I mean, I know it may employ 40 people and whatever, they, but functionally, if there's no money coming in, the business is gone. It's a piece, piece of paper. So a business has no significant moral standing. So asking a business to give a promise in a community is a bit risky. I, 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 uh, I read a really good paper about uh, co-investment. I've forgotten the name of the guy. Who Jordan, was... Jordan Bober. Jordan Bober. Jordan Bober. Uh, I'll, yeah. put a, I'll put a link to that in the, um, in the description below. That, that okay, so, so the, the, the point is to get a business legitimately engaged in the community, it must give service first to a third party, not to itself. If a business comes in and says, I like this money scheme, I'm going to write off some money, now jump up and down for me, give it the finger. Okay. The, the business is not acting in good faith. The business must first of all create its, its obligation to serve the community the fire department the hospital the uh, old people's home the whatever so it lays asset onto this beneficiary thing so that's a requirement you, your business is not going to be appropriately engaged in the community until it makes such a move mm -hmm. and so by bringing that into this capture thing you, you're using a sort of a, a spinner you're, you're taking a, a through flow and turning it into a swirl. 
you're capturing energy, not just in that that thousand bucks went into there, a thousand pounds went into here. That's a capture in itself. But the real capture is that we now got a thousand in spin. Yeah. yeah, yeah. How many what, times? What's, is the, um, what's the what's the what's the plan? What's the big ambition with open money? I mean, what what's the ideal scenario? What's the most it could achieve? The the end point is an S curve. It's always an S curve. These things. It's right. And so the end point is this bit at the top. And where's when? What's that? Uh, end of poverty worldwide. Right. Okay. So quite big ambitions. Um, no, no, it's very. It's, and it's not ambition, please. It, to say it's an ambition is like Newton had an ambition for the apple to hit the ground. Right. Okay. It wasn't Newton's ambition that got the gravity to drop the apple. Right. It is not ambition that says an end of poverty is possible in a, a time span which is, to most of us, inconceivable. Yeah. Utterly inconceivable how quickly this could become an adopted and adapted protocol and worldwide. What might, be the, uh, what might be the barriers? Do you think what might be the biggest barriers and how? It's what between might... the ears, my friend. It's always between the ears. The, the biggest barriers are that we are stupid, ignorant idiots. We are idiots. You and me specifically, or or you, you are an idiot. I am an idiot. We are idiots. We are all idiots. We live inside. It's a idiot future of humanity, is it? Oh well, we are. It's it's the bubble thing. It's idiot was from the the original id Greek concept of the identity being. So we are identities. I make my best judgments. Don't tell me what to do. I got my choices, right? You got yours. So we're bubble wrapped. And question is. Is our idiocy mutually supportive or mutually damaging? Am you trading on my oxygen tube? Am I knifing your water supply? What's going on around here? So the, com the general idiot behavior is detrimental. We're fighting each other. Mm -hmm. We can, however, if we suspend our stupefaction. Now, I want to be this. To be stupid is to be stupefied, is to have a focus on something which is preoccupying your attention and holds you in thrall, right? That's stupefaction. It doesn't mean stupid. That's a different thing. And that's, that's the pejorative. The stupefaction, however, is the human condition. Too busy. And when I'm busy with this, I'm ignorant of absolutely anything outside. Yeah, yeah, I think you're right. I think, I think most people won't, most people won't take the time to have philosophical conversations about that. But, but Not a chance. if they're Not shown, chance. if they're shown, if they're, if they're shown how to use something and it's beneficial to them, they'll use it and they'll tell other people about it. And and I think that's the way things will spread. You you won't you won't spread ideas by having philosophical discussions about them. You change the parameters in such a way that it normalizes people's inversion into the other. You know, it's just. You, you just, it's, oh, have you, oh, it's, oh, I keep forgetting. Oh, sorry, but I'm, but, but the slow back, thank you, you know. And before after you, two before weeks. You know it, before you know it, and you're, you're operating in a completely different world. So that would be my point, is that at some stage, we're going to S-curve through this. And I see this window of time as something in the order of three months. From, from when? That is the other question, you see. That's the problem, Dave. It's the question of when do you get the lift? Because until you get this, you don't get that and you don't get to the saturation. And the lift off is likely, likely a movie project. That's what we're thinking at this point. A movie, okay. Well, more, more a, a movie modeling, a business model for movies on a local level. See, the biggest problem in making the movie it's not the script, it's not the actors, it's not the crew, it's, 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 it's the money. <laughs> Why are we doing this? Who's gonna pay for it? Who's putting out the cash? Why they haven't, right? So a lot of movies don't get made because no money. So there has been a, uh, um, ways that people could spin off their surplus, you know, dentists with lots of spare cash could drop it into a movie fund and so on and create movies. But that was very sort of Hollywood and hit and miss. We're looking at the crowd changing model, the co-investment model on a local level, becoming a generator of funds flow, 
economic activity such that a component of that can be allocated as a priority to making a movie about how we are doing it. So, 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 this is, so are you doing it already? Are there currencies that people could use now? Oh, um, no, I don't. Well, yes, no, maybe. Depends on whether they're, they're seeing them or not. In, in terms of actual activity, we're about to open a college equivalent to one of these sort of MOOC type things. With our MOOC, yes. Equivalent, but not like a MOOC you've ever seen before. This is not your usual MOOC. Right. So it'll be very different. It'll be participative. It'll be quite real time. So what can people do right now? Is there anything that people can do right now? Or do they wait for the MOOC and wait for the movie? Or what, what can, if somebody sees this and thinks, right, okay, I want to get involved with that. What can they Crowdchange.me. Crowdchange.me. That's the okay. that's the the likely um, launch point. What it will be is first of all get informed, get active, get some purpose. And if you've got some purpose, then that will be expressed by a time engagement. That is, we would expect people, to, if they want to know what this is about at the propagation level, which is our key issue at the moment, is accurate replication, propagation, communication. So it's not the masses in the millions. We want hundreds and thousands of people to be understanding how this is implemented and implementable. So it's, it's an engagement level that pretty soon somebody should be putting three or four hours a week into it immediately that level if they don't rise to three or four hours a week then they're probably not got the point and if they don't graduate to three or four hours a day they're probably missing it All right. so but if they do get past that then they're probably off on the, on the big track after that so there are lots of other sort of currency ideas happening around the world lots and lots of new money type activity. Uh, do you think that they will be able to be knitted together or do you think one will you know, emerge victorious? Well, there is no one. There are, however, protocols which better or worse match territory. The territory is a complex interaction, multi-layered, multi-nested. Uh, it's, it's got this resonance, eddying, swirling quality to it. It's, it's like the, the biophysical world. It doesn't have edges in quite the way that um, a legal document has edges, you know? So, So I lost the thread of the question again. Well, all the different forms. Yeah. So, 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 so I'm, I'm interested in I'm interested in lots of different ways. I'm, I'm interested in any sort of ideas that help to. Well, stop go to the radical. Go to the root. Go to the the point where it is, where it happens, where the energy is. Don't look at it as a technical thing. Don't look at it even as an organizational thing. Look at it as where is the life force reflected in how these things work with each other. With that perspective, I think you'll find your um, space is a lot clearer and a lot more productive. You will not be distracted by more tokens. Tokens are shiny attractors. Look at me, look at this. This one will be better. This one's got a higher speculative value. This one can be grouped with the others in this bonding model cross-reference divided by the number of, I know where's your goal? You know, like the, you, you, it's a complicated world. Um, I would say, that is not going to persist if there's a comparable simplicity that's easily propagated, that works with QR codes, that is um, basically cost-free and doesn't require external injections. Mm -hmm. You can use them. Well, I think the time is... Yeah, sorry. Um, I think the time is now, though, isn't it? I think, I think the real economic hardships of... Um, the COVID lockdowns haven't really kicked in yet. And I think when they do this, the time is now, the, there's not going to be much money around and any yeah. kind of alternatives, I think people are going to be giving, giving them a really good look. 
Um, and so I think it's going to be really interesting. Well, we hope so. Our, our proposition is it'll be interesting, it'll be entertaining, um, it'll be imminent. That is, that uh, you don't get the finished package at any point with this game. Open money is is an open book, and it's um, it's an open game, and all sorts of people are um, probably going to be a big part of it, uh, even if they don't know it yet. So, don't expect anything predictable. And where can people keep up to speed with what's, what, what you're up to in latest developments? Well, the openmoney.cc will probably be the, the rigorous end of, of the process. That's where you'll find the documentation, the software. There's nothing there yet, though, is there? Uh, it's not up this moment. Um, probably in a few days. The right, okay. you know, we, we, it's just a question of formulating the, the initial links to the repositories, the software, the recommendations. So the hard end of the system is openmoney.cc. The wild end is crowdchange.me. Right, okay. I'll put those two links in the description as well. And um, Michael, it's been really fantastic talking with you. It's been very good, Dave, and thank you for your attention and the time you put into this process over the last several months. Thank you.